So hey everyone, uh, today I'm actually just going to be talking about this four day work week that is happening all over the UK, okay? Well, it's not happening completely over there, like 100% over there, but it is happening to quite a few companies and businesses over there in the UK, okay? So obviously, four day work week is what it sounds like, a four day work week, but they actually have some little details about it that I was like, oh, that's what's going on? Y'all doing it like that over there? So I actually have an article I'm going to read and I'm give my opinions and my thoughts as we go along, okay? So uh, the headline reads, dozens of companies are testing a four day work week in the UK. Uh, dozens of workers in the UK have a truncated week ahead of them as a large scale four day work week pilot goes underway. Beginning this week, more than 3,000 workers at 70 companies across diverse industries will have an extra day off each week in exchange for maintaining a 100% productivity at their jobs. Okay, this is a six month trial that they're doing this for. All right, and this is actually billed as the quote unquote largest experiment uh, of its kind in the world. All right, now here's where it gets a little interesting, okay? Uh, it says, what is most excited about this pilot is that we have a wide range of sectors of economy from his hospitality, um, hospitality, retail, telecommunications, marketing, and more participating, you know, other kind of genres and work, right? Participating employers range from firms in the education sector to banking, IT, marketing, retail, hospitality, businesses, etc. The initiative is based on the 180 100 rule that allows workers to earn 100% of their pay for 80% of their time for delivering 100% of output. Okay, so let me actually read that part again. All right, so we know that in the UK they're doing it, uh, you know, across uh, different, different um, uh, sectors of work, and it's four day work weeks. Okay. Let me repeat that apart again. The initiative is based on the 180-100 rule that allows workers to earn 100% of their pay for 80% of their time for delivering 100% of the output. So what that means is essentially you're going to be working your four days. You're not working, you know, 10, 10 hours here, 10 hours here, 10 hours here, 10 hours here, 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, boom, you got 40 hours into a um, into a four day work week. It's going to be more like eight, 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 eight. So you're going to be working. What is that? Uh, 32 hours within the four day work week. So now you're not working that full amount. So you're not now having to just cram all that into one day. Uh, one one thing that's actually interesting about it is if you work at Amazon, for example, this is only this is really one of the only businesses that I know. I'm sure other people do it. Um, this is the most popular one where they have 10 hour shifts. OK, you do have some, I believe they have 12 hour shifts, but you have 10 hour shifts. OK, so you work 10, 10, 10, 10. All right. So you're working 40 hours, four days. You get one, two, three days off here. You're me working four days, working less hours getting 100% of the pay as long as your productivity stays at 100%. So as long as you're not BSing around and doing all this other stuff and your numbers start dropping because you get, you know, an extra day to relax, they're good about it, you know? And this is something that's actually been, it's actually kind of been an argument for me, something that I've been thinking about for a while. And it's just this whole idea of, do you really need to be at work for 40 hours? Now, this is negating overtime, any extra, you know, overtime that you may be doing, whether that's an extra day or maybe that's an extra hour or two. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just regular straight time. Do you really need to be there for 40 hours in a week? People say, oh, well, yeah, this house has always been done. Yeah, but we don't need to be doing that anymore. As you advance, you're supposed to get better ways to doing things, as we know. Obviously, America doesn't like to do that. You know, that's why America is the way that it is. But if you look at other situations, other um, countries and what they're doing like this, cutting back hours while also being like, OK, we're going to cut back your hours, but you're going to keep your pay because people here, they'll be like, oh, well, yeah, you could. 
hey, if you only want to work 32 hours, that's fine. <laughs> you ain't getting paid for 40 hours, though. So this, you know, inherently makes it so that your, your per hour wage is more so than what you were getting paid before. All right. So now you're able to get more money. All right. You're also being able to have an extra day and you get to work less hours because think about it. Think about whatever job that you're at right now. Do you really need to be there for 40 hours? And hey, this even op opens up more opportunity for people who do want to work overtime. Maybe you have other people who are like, well, I'm just here for the benefits or well, I'm, you know, maybe I got a husband, maybe I got a wife, you know, maybe I have a side hustle or something that's helping with the income and I don't really need to be here for that long. You know what I mean? So you can get those people to do what they need to do. And you, hey, if you need to pick up an extra day, pick up an extra day to do overtime or extra two days to do overtime. Or maybe you could eat, you know, eat it at the back end of your shift. Maybe you could add on an extra hour at the back end of your shift. So this actually, in my opinion, could help for everyone. You know, the regular person that's like, you know what, I really only need to be working 30 hours. And if they get benefits, hey, you know, maybe this is my spending cash. Maybe I have no debt. I have a side hustle, but this is just something to uh, pay the bills and that is my spending cash. Whatever the case may be, I don't really need to be here that long. So now you're getting people or allowing people to have that quote unquote work life balance that pretty much every company is saying like, yeah, 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 we got the work life balance. We're going to make sure that, you know, you got this and that and yeah, you're going to be good. You're going to be good. But then they do all these other things and it's like you don't really care about work-life balances because if you did you want to have me do x y or z you want to have me be working all these hours they think oh well but we give you we give you one day you know you get the extra yeah but you're working me to the bone in in a short period of period of time now if you do the 10 hour days you're making up two four six eight an extra day at those end of the days but i'm sure you're getting tired I'm sure you're ready to crash out after seven hours, you know, so having this whole principle of like, oh, well, we got to keep it at 40 hours a week, but it probably is not 40 hours worth of time that you really need. Couldn't I just leave earlier? Maybe you hire or you know, maybe you have a shift that then comes in at the eighth hour or whatever. I mean, because there are some other shifts that that I've seen people work in. 12 hour days you know what i mean i've done that before where you're working a 12 hour day okay i know for me me personally um i'm away i mean you're away from your house 10 hours 12 hours out of a day that's literally half your day <laughs> that you're not at home you know so that is a huge thing and you have millions of people who live like that. You have millions of people who have to, you know, constantly be away, be away, be away. How is that work-life balance if they're constantly away from their home? How is that work-life balance if they don't even get to see their kid, you know, or because, oh, I got to put them in daycare because I'm working all the time. And then add on 12 hours of actual work, you know, whether that is community there, work, whatever. Then you're looking at, you know, getting back, then you gotta add in your sleep, and then maybe you get an hour of downtime, then you gotta get back to work. You know, and it, it's it's really ridiculous. Like I've had 12 hour days, and that's 12 hours there, okay? And think about it, when they say 12 hours, that's 12 hours just work. That's not including the 30 minutes that you have for your lunch. That's not including your commute there. That's not including your commute back. It's not including any of that, the extra minutes for you to, you know, make sure that you're at work on time, you know, in the beginning, maybe you get there 10 minutes early, 15 minutes early. That's not including any of this. So I really like that they're doing this. You know, you get a hundred percent of your pay. You're only working 80% of the time. And as long as you're, uh, you know, giving a hundred percent of productivity, Hey, I mean, I'm all for it. I wish the U S would do something like this. Uh, but you know, the U.S. is so greedy. They're not going to want to do that. They're not going to want to do it. They're, if they ever do, I would be, I'd be 100% surprised because that just is not how they are. 
They want you to work, 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 work to the bone and then be like, well, I don't, I don't get why you're struggling, you know? I mean, this whole thing of like, oh, if you work hard, you get to where, wherever you got to be. No, if you work hard at a job, you're already getting paid a whole bunch of money from. That's where you'll be able to get to where it is that you want to be, okay? If you're corrupt, you'll be able to get to wherever it is that you want to be. If you are, let's say, an influencer, for example, you know, that's when you'll be able to get to wherever you want to be. But if you're just working at like McDonald's, let's say you're working there 40 hours a week, you're not going to get to wherever you need to be. You know, you have some mechanics, you're not going to get to wherever you need to be. I mean, there's a whole bunch of jobs, service jobs, um, you know, even some in the medical field where, yeah, hard work, hard work, yet you're still living paycheck to paycheck. You know, so I really like that they're implementing this and I am very excited to see because uh, they say it's going to be for six months. I'm very excited to see where this leads and what they're going to do. You know, if it's successful and they're like, okay, get paid the same amount. You work 80% of the time. And if it's successful, they may be like, you know what? We're just going to do it. You know, and they're doing it through different sectors, you know, which is really nice. You know, as opposed to just being like, well, we'll just do it for waitresses and let's see. Or we're just going to do it for, we're just going to do it for medical people. And we're just going to see. I like that they're doing it for different places, you know, different kind of company, business, IT, medical, you know, hospitality, you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm very happy that they're um, going that direction. Um, I would love to know your opinions on this and your thoughts. If you are from the UK, <laughs> um, are you one of the people that's going to be a part of this program? Um, I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on this. And until then.